Hello and welcome to today's video. I thought for a chain, well for a start, I'm gonna do a redstone video. So I'd like to know what this is gonna, what is it is like for you down in the comments after this video is done. So if you can watch the whole thing, make sure it all like, make sure you like it first. Uh, not like press the like button, but you like like it in person and uh, before you comment. Don't just like comment it's bad. Just like if you can give constructive feedback. So I want to know how I did when talking. But anyway, let's jump into the video. So here is the design that I've seen a lot on YouTube. So this one, it doesn't really work for P or Windows 10. As you see, it works and it works again, but then it gets all faulty and it doesn't, it doesn't work 100% of the time. So, see, it just doesn't work right. That, yeah, it, it's not, it's not reliable. So I spent a, well, not too much time actually. I was just working out a way to actually fix this and make it so it is able to be, uh, able to work on Pocket Edition and Windows 10. So here's the design here. So all it does is add a two tick game, uh, <laughs> game, repeater to this top piston. So I'll explain what happens here. This piston push it, is trying to push up, but since I've put an obsidian block up top, this can't, piston can't push until this block is gone. So this piston will wait until this piston has retracted. The piston pulls in, allowing a space where the crafting table then gets pushed up to. So, that, so when we flick the lever, it looks like this. So it works. So as you can tell, it didn't push up until the piston had moved it out of the way. Where, in coming back down, this repeater will wait two game ticks before it pushes out. That is enough time for this piston to pull that crafting table down so it gets out of the way and doesn't get pushed out. So if I flick it, see? It goes down and up very easily. So that... It works quite well, so when you like disguise it in with like a, a little area, you just move it in like this, block it up, you got to put a roof on it like that, and that's what it will look like, and so it's just, it's hidden. So you, you don't even know it's there, you flick the lever, and it's there. It works really well, so I actually like it, so if you want to make a hidden base, this is for you, especially in Windows 10 and Pocket Edition, and anyway, you can do this with other things like, cra uh, not crafting tables, we've already done that. Um, chests and furnaces and all that sort of stuff. You can't do in the chest though. So over here, I've put up a design, a, a chest, a crafting table, and a furnace there. Yeah, that's right. And so all you need to do is flip. I've moved the lever as well, so I'll show you how to build this in a second. But all you need to do is flip the lever, and look, it's hidden. Flick it again, and it's back. And you can actually edit, uh, edit this chest. Open the chest because what I've got here is I've got a steer. So all you need to do is come around to the back when you're making it with the chest, jump down here and place a stair there. And that should cover it completely up and let the chest able to be opened. But you do get that gap there, as you can probably tell. You could actually possibly, can you put it like that? I think you can do it like that. Oh yeah, there you go. So you can do it like that so you can't see underneath or anything as well. So that's that and then the furnace is, ju oh, and the furnace is just like the crafting table. Okay, so the crafting table, uh, <laughs> crafting table, the furnace works the same as a crafting table. Sorry about that, for some reason my videoing crashed. So anyway, I'm back up now. So yeah, the furnace works as well. And now I'll go and show you how to build it. So first of all, you need a piston and you can just jump up and place one below you. Then you can either, it doesn't matter which order you do it, you can place the stone bricks or the crafting table. I'm just going to do the crafting table for now. Then you place the stone bricks on top. Well, I'm just using stone bricks, you can use whatever you want. Then you come over three blocks, and then you place a block in the middle, well, in between that, facing the stone bricks. Then you come across another three, come down one here, and then you place the repeater set to two game ticks there. A redstone torch on the block powering that repeater so the piston is pulled out. Then you go down, uh, place a block on the ground below two, and then come across right to this piston here. Then you go up however many your um, wall is. If it's taller than 12, you don't need to worry about uh, adding the obsidian block on top. But you can do that there. Then all you need to do is place a lever there and flick it and you have got your working hidden crafting table. Pretty good, eh? 
and then all you need to do to change it to a uh, chest or a furnace or chest anyway you need to destroy the crafting table place a uh, well I already showed you this place a crafting table there then place some stairs like that and you've got yourself a working cra uh, crafting table working chest so there you are here's a quick redstone video on how to make a hidden chest in pocket edition on windows 10 Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I should be doing more like this if I get like great support. I might I might do some more soon. I don't know. It just depends. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully you had a great well great time watching this video. Hopefully you learned a bit if you didn't already know this. But thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Comment what you thought of the video. Must it out.